Alrighty, I uh, still serve as the executive chairman of iTouch Messaging Services, uh, South African based, uh, but with a global footprint. We are um, providers of uh, ADP messaging for the large uh, corporates. A big focus this last year went into the banking and financial institution uh, side of things. And uh, as usual, the retail market has uh, always been one of our long-standing clients. Um, South Africa has been uh, for years the, the playground of our business, but um, uh, the African continent has been our focus uh, over the last few years. And 2017, we probably expect the African traffic to outgrow South African traffic. So uh, that gives you an indication of what's happening on the continent. Um, that is also largely posed by uh, the fact that international companies are starting to focus on the continent and do more business. So a lot of our clients are actually international uh, global companies now focusing on the continent. And of course we still do uh, a bit of uh, stuff in Europe uh, and, and other parts of the country. I think the whole discussion around uh, the life of uh, SMS, uh, um, and it's been an ongoing discussion as we know for many, many years, um, and if anything, the SMS environment has continued to grow, uh, so it's far from declining. Um, again, this year we're finding that the message is around getting your message to your client in a more rich media format. Um, the idea of MMS never really took off and MIMS has been, it's, it's, it's a platform that still uses the SMS barrier, so it's still uh, cost effective but it allows for that rich media experience. So really what you're doing is taking a 160 character text message, giving it color, giving it life. And, um, and that has been uh, hitting the market. Market is uh, testing it. It's been going out. We're seeing volumes uh, grow uh, in the marketing sector. I think where it's really been exciting, and, um, it's, and I think largely because it contributes to cost saving, it contributes to efficiency, is the financial services sector. We're finding that a lot of the, for example, uh, schedules of policies, they're using a MIMS to send it out, and it's instant. Um, invoicing, billing, uh, statements of account, um, the MIMS technology is being used for that. We're seeing a lot of interest there, and that's really exciting for us as well because uh, that is going to largely contribute to sustainable revenues rather than just an exciting uh, you know, campaign. Um, since we're focusing very much on the uh, messaging environment, uh, uh, what I think is really satisfying to, to see is that everyone that are serious players in the industry has uh, reported growth in 2016. So the environment is still growing. Um, the area of growth has been in new areas of markets. So, so it's not the traditional just retail messaging uh, that's been uh, contributing to it. A lot is centered around service messaging. A lot is centered around uh, uh, um, uh, transactional and ODPs. And as that footprint of those institutions grow, so the business is growing. So we see a lot of that. Um, that's really exciting. The other is uh, part of the actual sector itself has some of its own pains and, and part of those pains are the uh, con continuous price wars uh, that are generated and created from grey routes which are kind of not uh, acceptable to use and then illegal routes you know um, and around the, the whole MEF program the ecosystem has been challenging the uh, let's call it all the stakeholders in terms of complying and, and some very exciting things have happened uh, out of the Mobile Ecosystem Forum in terms of the fraud framework, the messaging guide that was launched uh, to educate the market on, on what is acceptable to, uh, uh, you know, uh, routes to use and what's not. So that's very exciting as well and, and that is a lot of what we're seeing here at this, at this uh, year's event.